Here we are uh, moving on to 113. And of course, at the top of the bracket, no surprise, top seed Austin DeSanto should be Russell Bell all year. I have him moving all the way over to the, the semifinals, where I think he'll face Chambersburg's Aaron Rump. I like DeSanto to come through there, keep that go status. He's a goer, he likes up tempo, he's always moving, always looking to score, and I think he comes through and makes the final. I agree with you. I had Austin DeSanto getting all the way out to that semifinal as well. Saw him wrestle back in December at the Conestoga Valley Tournament, wrestling really strong. Obviously, his 42 and 1 record is an indication of that. I have him getting out to that semifinal to face Aaron Rump, and I also have Austin DeSanto getting to the final. Now, switching to the bottom half of the bracket, we've got Zerg Storm from uh, New Oxford with a record of 29-3, Devin Schnupp from Warwick. I actually like Schnupp to beat Zerg Storm in the semifinal. I've got Devin Schnupp getting out to that final to face Austin DeSanto. I'm going to go out a little bit of a limb here, and I'm going to say Schnupp beats DeSanto to win the district title at 113. What do you think? I think you're wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm what? Well, you got to stay why. <laughs> Come on. I can't. I can't go against the guy who has the best name in all of brackets, Zurich Storm. I have him beating Devin Schnupp in the semifinals, and I have in the finals Austin DeSantos just looked too good all year. I think he's ready to take that next step, move on to states, make some noise there. I have. Austin DeSanto beating Zurich Storm in the finals at 113. Hey, if you want to jump in on this conversation, leave your input in the comments section below.